Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Another warm day is on tap out there across the Susquehanna Valley as temperatures rise back up to near 50 degrees this afternoon. We had some clouds early this morning, but they cleared out near dawn. Start to see some high level clouds return on our Gettysburg Sky Cam. That trend will continue as we head through the afternoon. Right now, up to 43 degrees in Gettysburg. That's already warmer than our average high for this date. Feels like it's 39 when you factor in the light winds. All is quiet on the radar. It's going to stay that way through the day today. I've also turned on the satellite. You can see the clouds a little thicker back towards Pittsburgh and Columbus and Cleveland, Ohio. Some of those clouds will move in through the afternoon. So a mixture of sunshine and clouds today, mild to light breeze. It's going to be nice to be outside. Highs in the upper 40s. A few spots will make a run at 50 degrees. More clouds will move in through the night. Tonight it will be a little warmer than average, but cool down to the low to mid 30s. And then for tomorrow, temperatures will hold in the low to mid 40s for our highs. And it is going to be fairly gloomy out there. And around lunchtime, some spotty showers start moving into the valley and stay with us on into the afternoon. Some of those showers will continue to push to the east and may impact the second half of the Eagles game. It should be warm, though, for the kickoff temperatures in the lower 50s. That's not bad for late January, even in Philadelphia. Just some spotty showers as we get past sunset. Made it to 40 for our high yesterday after a morning low of 31 degrees. Winds have been light, but notice the direction primarily out of the west or southwest across most of the valley, and that's what's going to help boost our temperatures well above average as we head through the afternoon. So it's 44 this hour in York, 42 currently in Lancaster, 36 in Harrisburg. As we zoom out, you can see the temperatures are warm off to our south and west in the 50s right now in Texas and along the Gulf Coast. We have a large and in charge ridge of high pressure that has developed across the southeast. That's going to deflect most of the storm energy that's coming in from the west and northwest during the next couple of days, but those storms will be close enough that they'll bring in some clouds and help trigger some passing showers at times. So watch what happens here on the predictor. There is a frontal boundary off to our north and to the west. It'll get a little closer to us, but I think the warmth winds on out. Notice we get a little bit more cloud cover as we head through the afternoon. There'll be some breaks in the clouds again this evening. More clouds get in here later tonight to near dawn on Sunday. We start the day off dry. This storm system that moves across the Great Lakes is going to run into the drier air that's sitting over the valley, so the bulk of the precipitation kind of fizzles out, but we'll still have some passing showers tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. This frontal boundary may trigger an isolated shower Sunday night, but then it returns as a warm front through the day on Monday, and once again, highs on Monday will be back up to near 50 degrees, and we'll keep the clouds around and the chances for a few passing showers. Once we get past Monday, the temperatures take a tumble. More uh, seasonable air starts to build back in across the region. We're back down into the mid to upper 30s midweek. Even colder air will get here as we approach next weekend. Much of the week ahead looks unsettled, but not really wet. Just a few passing showers at times for your Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. Could see a few snow showers for Groundhog Day. Colder weather, definitely chillier weather will be here as we approach next weekend. All right, thanks.